Hello, this is Rafa Monpo, freelance telecoms professional. I'm talking in the next few minutes about the Internet Multimedia Subsystem General Technical Requirements. IMS initial goals should be taken in consideration to understand why IMS architecture is as it is. The first goal was to produce a modern enough architecture that could tackle the needed evolution of 21st century telecommunications services. Then, make the mobile internet paradigm really come true. Broadband and very, very rich services and contents. Such rich contents and services will only be developed by third parties if there is an open platform that is used by all operators. The goal is that services work the same regarding the operator as it happens with classical phone calls. Think about it. Everybody in the world pushes a sequence of numbers on a universal path and establishes a conversation with a person in the other side. We need the same universality for new rich telecommunication services. And finally, the business strategy should be put on the top. The more the switching functionalities are used, the more money an operator wins. What I'm saying is that services providers like Google are prepared to win money just if a broadband pipe is available, no matter if the switching feature is root. On the contrary, operators win money only if the services use advanced switching features. Well, now in this slide, we're going to establish how such goals are mapped into the technical requirements of IMS. With respect audio and video, the requirement is that audio and video are fully supported on applications and also with enough quality of service. That is to say, that a good IMS infrastructure should be able to support the establishment of multimedia sessions. With respect quality of service, it is extremely important to understand that the cornerstone of IMS is the support of negotiated quality of service. That is, to pay not only for the data pipe, but also for the quality of service that the network is giving to a certain service. All the same, real world should be taken into consideration. Yes, today operator networks are based on classical network schemes and open services are based on classical internet. For this reason, the internetwork of IMS network with such networks should be very efficient. IMS should also support seamless roaming between networks. It means that once a session is established, it can be moved from one operator to another or from type of network to another type of network. For example, begin a session in a mobile device but roam to a fixed computer to continue the session and finish it. And what about network management? And now with IMS philosophy, service delivery is dynamic and for that reason, network needs to be dynamically managed. That means that a mechanism of service provisioning resources based on user-based control policies is also critical to a matchless IMS core design. Requirement number six. In the IMS world, you standardize service capabilities instead of services. This is because modern telecommunications need that services are constructed by third parties in order to create a technology ecosystem that is always positioning services in the market. In other words, in the 21st century, the power is on the customer's side, and so a marketing vision of telecommunications 
that is a client-centric vision if you wish, is mandatory for an operator to be competitive. And last but not least, independence access should be guaranteed. Again, a good management of the edge of the IMS network is critical. Thank you for your attention.